Today on MTG Unpacked, it is pre-release weekend and we are getting stuck into an entire Kamigawa Neon Dynasty set booster box. But before we do, let's take a look at the buyer box promo here. So we have Satoru Imazawa, 2 4 for 3, legendary creature, human ninja. Whenever you activate a ninjutsu ability, look at the top three cards your library. Put one of them into your hand and rest on the bottom of your library in any order. This ability triggers only once each turn. And each creature card in your hand has ninjutsu for two blue and black. So awesome. We got a lot of ninjas in this set, including rat ninjas. Craziness. So I do want to put together a ninja deck with the rats and maybe some goblins. And we've got a nice flyer on the top here. With some artwork, we've got Tamio and Kaito, I believe, is the other character there. Okay, so we have 30 packs of goodness. We'll take a look at the first pack in detail, and then we will speed way up. Just looking for the rares and mythics and so forth. So just getting used to things to begin with. So here we have uh, one of the aforementioned rats. We've got the Cycling Rats. It is Nashi Moon Sage's Scion. Okay, so we'll put that up there. And we also have Bloodfell Caves. Moon Circuit Hacker. I'm liking the uh, showcase artwork. Very cool. Jukai Trainee, Undercity Scrounger. Scrapyard Steelbreaker, Mnemonic Sphere. Touch the Spirit Realm. Okay, so now we have Uncommons, Oroki Merge Keeper, The Shattered States Era, and Enchantment Sagas. So these flip around here. We've got Nameless Conqueror. And the rare is Myogen of Blooming Dawn. Along with, oh, another one. Okay, Hidetsugu Devouring Chaos. Fantastic. Two rares in that pack, and Jukai Trainee Foil. Anything from the list? Nope. But we have an ad, okay. So that's what we are up against here, people. So we'll speed through these a little quicker now. So this one, not sure which way. I think it goes something like that. And that is... A planes. Oh, look at this! Fantastic full art lands. We have to make room for those as well. We'll showcase those up here. Okay, and skipping over all the stuff here and onto, I think that was, yeah, onto the rare here. We have Reckoner Bank Buster. So this is a vehicle. Interesting. I like the uh, borderless art on that one. And a mythic! Yes! Jingataxius Progress Tyrant! Good to see you, mate. We'll sleeve you up in a second foil. Goshintai of Ancient Wars. And that is it, a ninja token. Okay, so let's get into the next one. We will sleeve him, not to worry. I just want to see what's in the next pack. This looks awesome. I don't know what it is though. That is Rizona Asari Commander. Okay, and skipping ahead here to the rare, we have Tribute to Hirobi. I remember this one from the live stream we did the other day. Link in the corner if you missed that one. Echo of Death's Whale on the other side. And I like how it uh, details things up closer on the other side. Foil, Virus, Beetle, and what does this say? Samurai Token, that's pretty cool. Okay, before I forget, Sleevan the Jin Gataxius. And did you know there is actually a Phyrexian variant of that guy? With all the Phyrexian text. And right off the bat, I'm calling this, this is a list pool. Yes, we got a list pool. We have Stone Giant. Check out the face on that guy. Okay, and then our art card is no idea. It's going to take me a while to learn these. Naomi, Pillar of Order. 
And a very cool indeed, look at that swamp. What is your favourite of those full art lands? I think it would be really hard to decide actually. And uh, rare here, we have Thundering Raju and a Foil Moon Circuit Hacker. Okay, so loving the artwork so far. Absolutely fantastic. Is this another list pull? I really hope so. I hope we're not getting... Ah, <laughs> yeah, they're trolling us. They're trolling us again with this set. Oh dear. All right, you can't rely on that. We've got a dog on the throne, as he should be. He's a good boy. Yoshimaru, ever faithful. And looks like another foil here, Swift Water Cliffs. Not terribly exciting. And Rat Ninjas. See what I said, people? Rat Ninjas are here. Fantastic. Skipping ahead. Two. Where's the rare? Okay. And we have Sukhanzan Crucible of Defiance is the rare. And a Foil Repel the Vile. And by the way, I am not popping up prices because, quite honestly, they're going to drop like a rock within the next several days. So, things should settle down soon. This looks pretty cool, like an uh, anime type scene. We've got March of Otherworldly Light. And skipping over... Oh, goblins, yes. I can't dwell on them too much though. We've got a lot of packs to open. Surge Hacker Mech for the rare. And a Foil Spell Pierce. And a Human Monk Token. Even the tokens look awesome. Okay. So one Mythic so far. Seems about right. Normally you would get one of these boxes, I would say five or six Mythics. This dude, a sorry captain. I just can't get enough of these lands. Look at that. That is awesome. They keep outdoing themselves. Each time I'm like, oh yeah, they won't be able to do a better land than that. And then what do they do? They come along with an awesome looking series of lands. Okay, Kyodai, Soul of Kamigawa. A dragon spirit, foil mech hanger. And Magic Minigame Booster Sleuth. The minigames are still here. Honestly, I get a bit uh, disappointed every time I see a minigame. I would rather have a list pull. And first signature stamped card, or it's actually the Planeswalker logo. You can see it on the bottom there. That's pretty cool. This was the one we uh, looked at already, wasn't it? Satoru Umazawa, the Buyer Box promo. It's pretty cool. Okay, so then, for our rare, we have Myogen of Grim Betrayal. Does anyone remember the Myogens from the original Kamigawa? We've got Mukatai Soul Ripper, another one. Foil Iron Hoof Boar. And what is the list? They're taunting us. There's a cool looking spirit token. Speaking of the original Kamigawa, we cracked open Champions of Kamigawa the other day. The... Uh, Fat Pack, if you missed that video, link in the corner. Had a, a pretty crazy pull, actually. I'm not sure which way around this goes, but that looks as good as any. And we have Discover the Impossible. Look at this. How can you not like these lands? That is ridiculously awesome. Okay, then skipping ahead here. To our rare, we have Rizona Asari Commander. Okay, so we saw the art card for that previously. And Machiko's Reign of Truth. And this is Enchantment Saga. Let's flip it around here. We've got Portrait in focus, please. Portrait of Machiko. And a list pull, Wooden Stake. So a bit of a spoiler there. Okay, so two... List pulls for a third of the way through the box. And I'm curious about the foil pull rate as well. Seems about the same, I would say, so far. So this, we have a ninja. What are those? Is that some masks popping out? Who is that? 
It is Thousand Face Shadow, okay, that makes sense. And this, holy crap, look at that. A foil version. Fantastic. I can never say enough nice things about those lands. Okay, and our rare here we have March of Swirling Mist, followed by a foil Futurist Sentinel. Okay, so now move that aside, get stuck into the second column here. So we're a third of the way through the box. Looks like some anime style artwork. This almost looks like it would fit in in Yu-Gi-Oh actually. I've been opening a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh lately. Covert Technician. And we will be opening the new Yu-Gi-Oh set by the way. Another foil! Holy crap! I cannot believe it. If I can ever separate it, these foils, they like to stick to the other cards for some reason. Okay, so this is skipping ahead to the rare. We've got Invoke Despair. Foil Spirited Companion. There's another dog. And what is the list? Please don't taunt us, Watsy. Uh, pop that over there. And I'm curious, is this a list pool? <laughs> Rolled again. All right. All right. At least we got it out of the way. Uh, this looks awesome. What is that? Like a giant fighting robot Voltron type thing. Spirit Sisters Call. And a island. Colossal Sky Turtle. There are turtles in this set. I don't know if there are any ninja turtles, so you'll have to let me know. Uh, we've got Tamishi Reality Architect is the rare. Foil Ukiba Salvage. So believe it or not, I picked the playmat here. So that's uh, from either Kaladesh or Ether Vault, I forget which. There are a bunch of giant mechs in this set. And I think that is totally awesome. Here we have a dragon with a cool crown slash helmet thing. That is at Sushi the Blazing Sky. And I don't know why, but I feel like eating some sushi right about now. It's making me hungry. Where do we have our rare? We have the Restoration of Iganjo. Okay, so this is uh, double-sided here. We've got Architect of Restoration, Fox Monk. Foil, Kaito's Pursuit. And what is this? Just a token, Treasure Token. Alrighty. So I'm going to say we're about halfway through the box. This better be a list pool. This really better be. Yes, it is a list pool. We have Moonhold, which I don't think I have ever seen that card before. That looks awesome. Pop it down there and grabbing the pile. So this, I think, yeah, that's the swamp. And oh, look at that mountain. Okay. It's a feast for the eyes, I swear. And zipping. Oh, we have a mythic. The Wandering Emperor. Welcome. It's about time. I was hoping for another mythic. Okay. And is this one? No, it doesn't flip around. We've got foil Aki War Paint. Okay. Grabbing the sleeves. The Wandering Emperor, that is what you want to see. I do collect Planeswalkers, so I'm pretty happy about that. On to the next pack. See what we got here. What is this? That looks cool. I don't know which way around it goes. Use your imagination, I suppose. We have Blade Blizzard Kitsune, or Kitsune, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And skipping ahead to the goodness, we have March of Burgeoning Life. Looks like a whole bunch of different kami there. Foil, Iron Apprentice, and Secret Lair Construct, okay. Speaking of Secret Lairs, I have a whole pile of them. Uh, they accumulated in the past couple of days, so we will be cracking those. In the next few days, stay tuned. This looks awesome. 
It is Hanada Dawn Crowned and a Foil Forest. Alright. Pop that over there. Oh, Snake Samurai. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to slowing down. Oh, and another mythic. We have Katori Pilot Prodigy. Another sleeveworthy pull. Otawara Soaring City. Foil Imperial Oath. And from the list, a mythic. Yes, Angel of Serenity. Grabbing the sleeves. Fantastic. So what are we at? Four mythics now. And if we get more, I think if we get more than uh, six mythics, we'll have a fantastic box on our hands. So what is the most mythics you've pulled out of a, we'll say out of a draft booster box or a set booster box? Have you noticed much difference? Uh, this guy is Tezzeret, of course. What is his... Uh, Betrayer of Flesh, okay, and Fantastic Forest, love it. And skipping ahead to a Cloud Steel Kirin, Equipment Kirin. This looks like something out of uh, Kaladesh, actually. When We Were Young, Foil, and a Magic Minigame, Winchester Draft. Have you done some Winchester Drafting? How did that go for you? And I am looking forward next week. We will slow down, go through all the commons and uncommons like we usually do. But today, we just want to skip ahead and not dwell too much. That is pretty awesome artwork right there. We have Repel the Vile. And getting through to, whoops, I have a avalanche here. The Muppet hands are taking effect. We've got the Grease Fang Okiba boss, a rat pilot. Seriously, that is awesome. And a foil befriending the moths. Let's see on the other side, we have Imperial Moth. All right, and a troll card, as I call them, because you expect a list pull, and really, you're just getting trolled like this one here. Keep you in suspense for a few moments. This is a, another Yu-Gi-Oh card, so that looks pretty colorful and nice. Tatsunari Toad Rider. Okay, so that must be an alternate, because I know the artwork for that uh, looks a bit different. So we've got, oh, okay, so we're at, we are putting extra lands like in the middle of the pack. So that's something to watch out for, was not aware of that. March of Wretched Sorrow, Foil Moon Circuit Hacker, and from the list, this is pretty appropriate, Loyal Apprentice. Uh, what is that, from Commander 2018, although I'm sure it looks like it might be a Kaladesh card. Okay, so next pack, we are two-thirds of the way through, and this, <laughs> that's a little disturbing, what is that thing? You got Gift of Wrath, and fantastic, look at this foil, I swear I've got to collect all of these, they're just so good, I've got, yeah, I've just got one card there, I thought I had two, okay, skipping ahead to the rare, I don't think this one's that exciting, Mind Link Mech, okay, so we do have some mechs, like I said, Foil Invoke the Ancients, and a Construct Token, okay then, so last third, let's pull some more Mythics, we've got four so far, including one from the list, so we saw that one earlier, set that aside, and let's see, can we get another mythic? We got, oh, another mech, okay, mech titan core, foil reckoner shakedown, and from the list, okay, reclamation sage, what is that from uh, time spiral? Okay. So is anyone planning to make a mech deck? 
And that was a total unintentional rhyme, but I think it works. Here we have another Yu-Gi-Oh card. This is The Wandering Emperor. Okay, more alternate art. A gorgeous foil forest. Yes, love it. And skipping ahead. Can we, yeah. These here we have Hanata Dawn Crowned is the rare foil Aki Ember Keeper Goblin Warrior. Nice to see the goblins and secret lair with a treasure on the other side. And stay tuned, next week we'll be opening even more Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. And next weekend, uh, the collector packs and the bundles and so forth come out. So we'll be cracking all of that as well. We have Peerless Samurai and an island. I don't think we had foil there. Oh, and it's a mythic. Tamio completed Sage, welcome to the channel. We'll sleeve that in a second foil. A sorry captain and an ad. All right, grabbing the sleeves. We are now at one, two, three, four, five mythics and the planeswalkers that I was really hoping to pull. This is an awesome box indeed. Have you pulled those in your pack cracking business? Let me know. Uh, this one looks like an artistic sort of Tamiyo. We've got Tamiyo Completed Sage. How many versions of the Tamiyo artwork are there? A Fantastic Planes. Alright, skipping over the stuff. Okay, we have not found that Bonsai uh, card yet. The Dragon Kami Reborn. And I think with these, they like to zoom in on the other side, a little aspect. We've got the Dragon Kami's Egg on the other side. So I think that was in the artwork. Foil Lion Sash. That's the one I kept pulling in the live stream. And a list pull. Archetype of Aggression. Okay. So we're on the home stretch here. Let's see, we've got like six packs to go. Doing pretty well. Uh, this guy, does that look like Ewan McGregor, sort of? And we have Ishin Two Heavens as one. And a Dismal Backwater, which we don't really care too much about here. Oh, we got a couple of rares in this one. We have Myogen of Cryptic Dreams. And Mirror Box, this is like a busted card. The Legend Rule doesn't apply to permanents you control. Holy moly, think about what that could do. Foil Mnemonic Sphere. And a Troll card, Trolled again. Oh, Watsi, why must you troll us? And this is... Not sure. We have Guardians of Obero. This looks like a foil blood fill caves. Okay. Pop that over there. Skipping ahead to the rare or mythic. We have Invoke Justice. And a foil showcase Sunblade Samurai followed by what is the list? We've got a Tamiyo's notebook on the other side. That goes with the... Uh, I think that goes with the Tamiyo Planeswalker card, actually. Okay, so this we have Dragons. Io, the Dawn Sky. And is this another... No, I thought that was a foil for a second. Okay, Planes. Okay, skip... Oh, did you see what I saw? I was just complaining about the bonsai. We didn't find it yet. Katos the Silent Spider. Oh no, okay, I was trolled again. Bosiju reaches Skyward. This is not the one I was looking for though. There's another one actually uh, with like a close up. Sort of, this one's sort of pixelated looking. Branch of Bosiju. Okay, still cool looking. Booster Sleuth Magic Minigame. Last three packs. Come on, we can get a few more mythics, surely. 
And, oh, okay, so a uh, stamped art card. That's cool. It is uh, Echo of Death's Whale. And we will go through to our rare here, which is Ishin Two Heavens as One. So we saw that art card earlier. Foil Banishing Slash. And what is this? Samurai Token. Two packs to crack, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And this is where my pack opening abilities sadly deteriorate right near the end of the box. This looks like another Yu-Gi-Oh card. We have Kaito Shizuki, and a very cool mountain. Skipping ahead. Oh, we get a couple of rares in this one. How many rares? Just two. Looks like two rares. Biting Palm Ninja. That's just single-sided. And a extended R or borderless carry carry the swirling sky mythic. Fantastic to see it. Foiling foiling. Foiling stalker. Coiling stalker and was over the Church of Deals from the list. Okay, so we have one more pack here. Let's get into it. And what is that? It's like an offering of some kind. We have Commune with Spirits. And we've got a Jungle Hollow non foil. Skipping ahead here. Let's see. It is final pack magic. We've got March of Reckless Joy. Thundering Raiju with the showcase art and a secret layer with Samurai on the other side. I'm grabbing the sleeves here for our mythic. Alright, so how many did we end up with? Let's scoop them up here as everything falls over. So we've got one, two, three, four. Four, five, six. Okay, about average with the mythics, but we did get some heavy hitters. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Mm -hmm.